Welcome back. We are still working on our shed design. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to add some other components, such as some landscaping, maybe some furniture inside your shed. So this is where you're really going to sort of customize your shed. And again, you're still going to go back and customize the outer surface of your shed however you'd like. Um, but for this video, let's focus on adding some other fun stuff like landscaping and furniture. So to do that, uh, let's, let's talk about landscaping first. So we'll go into our site plan. And sorry, we don't want our site plan sheet. We actually want to go into our site plan itself. And that's going to be up near our floor plans. So you'll click on that. You may need to zoom in a little bit. There's our shed. And you can see the site that it's on. What we're going to do in order to start putting some trees in, we're going to insert component. So place a component. And from here, you can load families. And in order to put some trees in, you need to go to planting. Under planting, you'll see all these different sorts of trees or shrubs and i'm going to put some let's do some deciduous trees so we'll click open and now i've got a bunch of different options here under deciduous wherever that went there it is so we got a couple different kinds i can pick from And we're going to go with the biggest one we can here. So here you can see our tree. We can start plopping those down. I'm just going to put one at each corner. And now if we want to check those out, I think we'll be able to see them in our 3D view. Yeah, we can kind of see them. The reason we uh, can't really see the full tree right now is because we have our crop region. So if I click do not crop view, then it's going to make us able to see everything again, which is what we want. And then if I switch the visual style to realistic, I'm thinking these trees will now look like a real sort of tree. So it's gonna take a minute perhaps, and it looks like that did not work. So maybe it's the type of tree that I selected. So let me try that again with a different type of tree. So we'll go back to our site plan. Let's go ahead and delete those. And for component, let's let's load a different family. And we'll do, let's try the RPC style tree. We'll do deciduous again. Looks like it already exists. We'll just overwrite it. And where did it go? Here we got RPC tree. Let's do let's do a honey locust. Place four of them. And then if we go to our 3D view, let's see how that looks. There we go. So that's gonna look, I mean, obviously more realistic than the last set of trees. If we go back to our shaded. They're just going to look like this. So they're kind of like two dimensional. Um, but it still does the job. So we can still see, obviously, that we do have trees there. And next, we're going to add some grass. So let's do that next. Okay. So in order to add our grass, we're going to go to the massing and site tab over here. 
And then we're going to go to Topo Solid. And we're going to click there. We want to do some grassland. That looks fine. So first we need to draw our boundary lines. So let's go back to our site plan. And we're just going to make a big rectangle that kind of encircles or encompasses our entire shed and the surrounding area. So from there, one thing we want to account for is the height of it. So right now this is a 16 inch layer. Remember our floor right now is going to be, I believe, 10 inches. So we're going to need to offset this uh, negative 16 inches so that we're not going to be interfering with our floor. We want our floor to be resting on top of this. So if we do negative 16 inches, that's going to make the whole entire grass and layer sit like right below our floor. So now that I've got that, I should be able to click the green check, which will finish it. And then if I go to the 3D view, there you can see we've got a nice grassy surface. If we go to the realistic view, we can check out what that looks like. And we've got our nice shed with some trees, some grass. You can also create uh, topo solids that are a little more complex. You can create like a little path out of wood planks or concrete. And really all you're doing with this is that same thing that we just did with the grass. You're going to create a boundary line. So let's say we wanted a little path leading up to the door. We could do that. Let's just make it go from the midpoint of that roof slope to the midpoint of this one. We'll try to make it do that. It's pretty close. We can connect those two. Perfect. Uh, let's finish that. Oops. Looks like we're overlapping. So let's correct that. Oh, I forgot to switch this one. Let's make this one go uh, right on the surface of our um, grass. So we'll have our wood planks kind of sitting on top of the grass. And I think that'll be nice. Let's go back to our 3D view. And there you can see we've got our nice little path. We may have, uh, yeah, it's going to the back side. So not a great path if it's not going to the front door, but something that can easily be fixed. So when you're doing yours, make sure it is leading up to the door if you decide to do a path of some kind. So you can do a concrete path, you can do stones, you can do wooden planks, whatever suits your fancy there. Okay, let's, uh, let's end this video there. Um, and then in the next video, I'll show you how to do furniture.